Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and this is AITS SELEC series and I have brought forward not one but three simple, not so straightforward and important problems from the topic of gravitation and specifically on the subtopic of Kepler's elliptical orbits. Uh, they are simple and important because um, they are frequently asked in JE mains and at times maybe a, a potential JE advanced question but uh, students do find them slightly difficult when it comes to attempting them in exam situation okay so with that uh, idea and aspect in my mind i have brought forward this set of problems from the uh, ln aats test series and what i'm going to do here is uh, i request you to pause the video here you want to have a try of those particular problems uh, i have put the problem statements in the links in the description below so please do try them uh, each problem two or three minutes and uh, i've put them in the increasing order of difficulty and you can once they are finished, uh, come back to the uh, problems that I'm going to solve. Okay, and I'm going to even explain the concepts involved in solving the problems. Also, one more request, try to watch the video till the end because I'm going to provide a slightly more challenging uh, homework question on the concepts that I have already dealt with and also some added uh, tidbits that I would be uh, giving it to you. Okay, so uh, without for much further ado, let me go ahead with the problem statements this is the first one okay the minimum and maximum distances of a satellite from the center of earth are 2r and 4r respectively where r is the radius of earth and m is the mass of earth okay right radius of curvature at the point of maximum distance is alpha r where the value of alpha is okay so this is the question so in case again you want to have a try pause try and come back i'm going ahead with the solution what i'm going to do here is slightly a different one I'm going to provide you with the solution that AITS has given, which is purely physics basic solution. It's an important solution. We'll be using it in the future questions, but I also will give you a, a maths basis for this particular problem solving, which is very interesting and important for future questions too. Okay. So this is the problem solution that was given in the AATS paper. Answer is 8R by 3, as you could see, and I'll, I'll not explain it completely. I think you can go uh, and check it out for yourself. The basis of this would be using the angular momentum conservation. Can you see this equation is the angular momentum conservation at apogee and perigee points and uh, conservation of energy also he has used and he'll finally write the Newton's law of motion at that particular point and get the radius of curvature. Okay, so pretty lengthy because there are three equations that you are going to write but very basic. What we are going to do is we'll try to use the math idea of radius of curvature here, okay, which would be useful in the future. So imagine this is the red colored or orange colored uh, elliptical orbit for the satellite and this is the planet for that particular satellite and the radius of curvature at this place is defined as if I had to let's say draw uh, a circle right and this circle is not drawn to scale it could be even inside this thing so this particular circle uh, whatever is the radius is called radius of curvature at this particular place same similarly i could do it at different points this is the point of the same end of the semi minor axis the idea is to use cartesian system write the equation of ellipse that we all are very much familiar with so for this elliptical orbit I have taken x and y axis and we all know the equation of ellipse and also the radius of curvature at any point can be written in this particular manner okay right and i'm trying to find to uh, find it at point b here which is zero comma b right so why i chose b and not l let you know this formula will be applicable when dy by dx at this particular place is zero if i directly try it at this place the dy by dx is infinity so i have to turn the ellipse and do it right so what i'll do is i'll conducively find it out or comfortably find it out at b and then uh, use the uh, symmetry idea that if a is replaced with b and b is replaced with a i'll get the value here okay so when i substitute dy by dx is zero i'll double differentiate this and substitute that value here at zero comma b i'll nicely get that radius of curvature at this point is a square by b it's more flat as you could see a is more than b similarly at this particular place if you replace it would be b square by a pretty straightforward formula that you should remember for your exam purposes okay right with this known he has already given that in the question the maximum distance which is a into one plus e 
and minimum distance a into 1 minus e or 4r and 2r respectively you can immediately get the value of 3r and uh, uh, a is r and b value or b square would be 8r square so from the formula that i already wrote b square by a would be 8r by 3 which is what the physics solution is also telling you but it's always good to have an alternative solution which where you don't know where it could be useful in the future so please do remember this and we'll be coming up with another question from a different chapter where this radius of curvature would be useful okay right next a uh, planet is orbiting a star where for no apparent reason the star's gravity suddenly vanishes okay no questions asked gravity suddenly vanishes after which planet moves in a straight line obvious right gravity is not there it will move along a straight line mark the correct statements okay right so the newton's first law is obeyed on planet after gravity vanishes kepler's law of orbit areas is obeyed only till the planet is in gravity of the star Kepler's law of areas is obeyed when even after gravity vanishes and angular momentum of planet about center of star is conserved throughout its motion. Okay. Want to have a try? Pause. Try it for one minute. This is a nice, uh, very decent uh, theory question. And then you go ahead with the solution I'm going to provide. Okay. So here the solution. So the thing is, I'll give you both maths and physics explanation, right? Uh, first statement, I think Newton's second law or first law is obeyed on, on planet after gravity vanishes. I think the statement of first law talks about the uh, the orbit of this particular planet would be a straight line and moves in uniform motion until unless acted upon by external force. So the famous childhood definition that we take up of Newton's first law. So I think the first statement is a correct statement. No doubts asked. Okay, now laws of areas B and C is the two important uh, statements. Is it obeyed while it is in under gravity or is it obeyed even after gravity vanishes is a very interesting idea. Okay, so you should realize that in maths explanation, uh, if gravity vanishes, it goes in straight lines. I have marked it into three different straight lines in equal intervals of time. Okay, right. The value of that L would be same. And if I draw triangles of the area swept, okay, so this height of the triangles are same, right? Cap, uh, H of that each triangle is same so half base into height of these triangles with the same basis would be same so maths explanation tells you that the areas would be same which is what precisely kepler's law talks about in equal intervals of time it sweeps equal areas what is the physics ex physics explanation for that whether the gravity is there or gravity is not there torque will be zero right torque is zero means angular momentum is conserved or l divided by 2m which is the aerial velocity is conserved that means the area swept per equal intervals of time would be equal okay so this is very interesting people generally think that the kepler's law of areas is only a valid thing for gravitational situation but underlying principle of kepler law of areas or second law is the conservation of angular momentum angular momentum is conserved even when gravity is vanishing and obviously it is conserved okay so out of b and c uh, more appropriate statement would be it is obeyed even after gravity vanishes and the idea is that d is the reason for c to be correct okay so this is the simple but very important question okay the last one slightly more challenging <coughs> Uh, a particle is projected from the surface of earth uh, here and with a certain speed where r is the radius of the earth at certain angle from the local horizontal as shown in the figure such that the angle subtended by the arc between the launching and the landing side that means this point and this point the angle subtended is 90 degrees calculate the maximum separation of the particle from the center of the earth and consider earth to be uniformly dense and air resistance to be absent so he's asking distance from the center to this maximum point okay right again want to have a try pause come back after three or four minutes and get to the solution okay right and stay till the end i'm going to give you a homework question on all these okay so um the idea that i'm going to use here is obviously this uh, orbit would be elliptical orbit first law of kepler and the center would be the focus okay right so keeping that in mind and using elliptical geometry like this so you everything on the screen so just follow my lead two important uh, discussions that you need to remember in elliptical orbits is the requirement of angular momentum uh, formula and the mechanical energy formula angular momentum when you went to the first question i gave you a physics solution right so let me go to that this one right so this was the solution so on the basis of a similar solution you could actually find out the angular momentum at either 
the perigee point or apogee point and argue that the angular momentum that we obtain here or here would be throughout the same right and the expression comes out to be a very neat one that you should be remembering for quick calculations in je mains and advanced exams so the one comes out to be small m which is the mass of the particle thrown g capital m capital m is mass of earth into a into 1 minus e square okay so a into 1 minus e square term can also be written as 1 minus e into 1 plus e divided by the summation so if someone wants to write this term in terms of the maximum distance and minimum distance which is that f a and f p it is the harmonic mean of those two distances okay right so this is one expression that may or may not be used in this question but i want you to know then mechanical energy of the elliptical orbit is independent of the eccentricity and only dependent on the major axis length which is another interesting result that you should remember minus g mm by 2a where a is the semi major axis here it is given that the particle here is projected with this speed right and it is at what distance at capital r distance this distance decides the potential energy and the speed decides the kinetic energy when you add up you get the mechanical energy of that particular orbit to this number so just compare this expression with this you would immediately get the value of a is equal to r which means this itself in the diagram from the center and this problem fortunately is your a and we all know in an ellipse right from focus the distance to a point is a only if this point is the end of the semi minor axis okay so that's that means i can draw a triangle here right angle triangle with this as b so let me mark those uh, letters for you this would be b and therefore this would be a e itself okay right which tells you that since this entire thing was given 90 degrees this value would be 45 degrees you could see i am marking it in the diagram uh, tells you a e and b individually are equal to r by root 2 tells you the value of e is 1 by root 2 and therefore the distance from f to a which is the maximum distance he was requesting is r into right a into 1 1 plus e right so a is r and 1 plus e is this number so we just go back to the options there and you'd see that this would be the correct answer here okay right so that's the best way of answering these kind of questions having sound knowledge of elliptical orbits is very very important to quickly race through the problems in the je mains and exam uh, advanced exams and also in olympiads also these are one of the favorite questions from the topic of gravitation okay so we want to have the uh, look at the homework right so let's move ahead but before just moving on to the homework i would request you to like share and subscribe to my channel i have seen if i put this thing at the end a lot of students are skipping and not uh, subscribing to my channel so i would genuinely request from my bottom of my heart that you should be if at all finding this content to be nice and useful for you and your friends please do share it with your friends and try to get them to subscribe to the channel okay right so with this out of our way right this is the practice problem it will be uh, taken up in the physics surgery original series okay so this is a nice original question that i have made as a amalgamation of the concepts that i have taken up in the previous three questions okay so uh, i'll not uh, spoil your uh, um, experience by explaining the questions basic idea of the question is to throw a particle from equator to north pole and you have to do so with the minimum speed and there are two questions that are asked out of this particular concept okay so one whenever this thing would be taken up and the video is ready i'll put the solution of this particular video also in the description below so that it can form a nice set of four problems that teach us very well about the elliptical orbits okay so right uh, in case you want to try out for the rest of the elect ats select series the playlist of the entire series is in the link in the description below also the other series that you all uh, all should be going through should be the pathfinder solution series olympiad workout series where we solve all the previous olympiad good questions and also nice challenges that will help you prepare for your olympiads nationally and internationally and result series where we take up the doubts and the doubts that generally are not discussed or addressed in the standard textbooks okay so please make sure you enjoy those playlists all the links are in the description below it is worth your time and that's what i am confident about okay so i'm also confident about that you would be uh, giving me company in the next video and with that i take your goodbye okay right